Good day everyone. Our subject for today is PE in grade 6. We are now here in quarter 4, week 3. And then the topics that we are going to discuss today are the following. Number 1, the history of maglalatik dance. And number 2, tinikling and itik-itik. So without further ado, let's begin our lesson today. Let's go first to looking back to our lesson. Direction. Write yes on the blank if it is prominent dance, steps of itik-itik dance, and write no if not. Number one, flopping of the arms. Yes. Number two, cross step, slide close, slide close step. That is also yes. Number three, clapping. No. Number four, arms extension and flexion. Yes. And number five, quick tapping. That is also yes. Okay, so very good. So now let's proceed to pre-test. Direction. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Number one, maglalatik dance originated in Binyan, Laguna. So the answer here is true. Number two, there are three parts in dancing maglalati, and that is also true. Number three, it is a war dance between Christians and Moros, and the answer is also true. Number four, coconut shell or pao is used in dancing maglalati. And that is true. And number five, it is an offering dance to their patron of St. Joseph. And that is false. Next is the introduction of our lesson today. The history of maglalatik dance. Background of the dance. Maglalatik is a war dance depicting a mock battle between the Moros and Christians over latik. Latik is a residue left after the coconut milk has been boiled. So, in the picture, this is what we call latik. Based on the legend, Moros were successful in getting the latik and made the Christians decide to offer peace by way of baptism. The dance became popular during the Spanish era in the barrios of Loma and Zapote of Binyan Laguna. It became part of the celebrations during fiestas and the religious gatherings. In the olden days, dancers go from house to house for money and gifts. In the evening, they would dance in the religious processions along the streets as an offering to the patron saint of the farmers, San Isidro Labrador. So this is San Isidro Labrador. The dance is performed by males who wear red and blue pants and uses 10 pieces of coconut shells or bao attached to the different parts of the body. Maglalatik has four parts. The palipasan, the baligtaran, the paseo, and the sayaw escaramusa. The first two parts show the heated encounter and the last two parts show the reconciliation between the two groups. So based on the picture, this is a maglalatik dance. Tinikling and itik-itik. Dancing plays an important role in Filipino culture. Folk dances and music Tell the history and preserved traditions. These dances are entertaining to observe and even more fun to learn and perform. These are some traditional folk dances of the Philippines. Number one is tinikling. To dance the tinikling, you need two pairs of bamboo poles that are 6 to 12 feet long, about 1.8 to 3.7 meters. Female dancers usually wear a dress called a balintawak, a colorful dress with arched sleeves, 
or a patadyong, a checkered loose skirt that's often worn with a thin fibered blouse. Males wear an embroidered formal shirt that's untucked called the Barong Tagalog, which is the country's national outfit for Filipino men. The Barong is usually paired with red trousers. All dancers perform the tinikling while barefoot. Number 2 is Itik Itik. It is composed of pair dancers, male and female. The pair must be 6 feet apart. The female dancer is at the right side of the partner when facing audience. The dance footsteps are composed of the imitation of the dance movements, which are the hands of the dancers are fold to imitate of the wings of the duck. The dance footsteps are like the duck's walk. So here are the following activities that you are going to answer to your self-learning modules. So in activity 1, we have here in activity A, direction complete the graphic organizer of historical background of Maglalatik dance. You're going to complete the graphic organizer about the history of Maglalatik dance here. In activity 2, read each instruction carefully and do as directed. Okay, in this part of the activity, all you need to do is to choose one traditional dance that we discussed. Number 2, practice the chosen dance following the given steps below. And number 3, be ready to perform your dance, video yourself, and send your video output to your PE teacher. Okay, so if you're going to do this activity, you're going to choose the traditional dance that we discussed. Or it could it could be tinikling dance, singles tinikling dance. And here are the following steps that you are going to do. And then, or the itik itik dance. Here you have to choose one of the dance that you are going to perform as your output. And you're going to film it. You're going to send me a video of your dance. Okay? It's either tinikling dance or itik itik dance. That is your activity number two. And for the activity number three, we have here activity 1, fill in the blanks with the correct answer. The dance maglalatik or magbabao is blank. So is it peace dance, war dance, or friendly dance? You're going to answer this uh, by putting the uh, letter or the putting the correct answer to this. Okay. Next is activity 4, directions with the help of your family members, learn and practice the dance steps and movements and figures 3 and 4. Take a video and perform it properly, then send it to your teacher via messenger or any place the teacher could evaluate your presentation. So this is the rubric that I am going to use once you pass your video presentation or your output in PE, which is the dance. It could be tinikling dance or itik itik dance so evaluate performance by checking the appropriate column and here is the criteria so perform the dance steps correctly in figure 3 and 4 execute the dance steps with energy perform the dance steps in the proper beat or counting memorize and master the step patterns in figure 3 and 4 and enjoy learning the steps if you have excellent you got 5 points very good you have 4 points once good, it you would uh, you will get the three points and fair as two points and for one point it means needs improvement. Okay, so this is your activity number four. But I am going to put a score here in your rubric. It's like what I've said. Once you pass your video presentation, because I'm going to watch it first before 
putting some score here to your evaluation or to your essay rubric. And then remember, keep in mind the following terms in order for you to understand the lesson. Maglalatik originated in Binyan, Laguna and is also called magbabao which can mean the one using the bow or the coconut shell. It shows a fight between Moros and Christians over the latik, which is left after the coconut milk has been boiled. Maglalatik is usually danced during town fiesta in Binya and as part of religious procession done along the streets as offering to San Isidro Labrador, the patron saint of farmers. Dancing plays an important role in Filipino culture, folk dances and music, tell the history and preserved traditions. These dances are entertaining to observe and even more fun to learn and perform. The dance maglalatik or magbabao is a war dance depicting a mock battle between the Moros and Christians over latik, residue left after the coconut milk has been boiled. Based on the legend, the Moros were successful in getting the coveted latik and made the Christians decide to offer peace by way of baptism. The dance became, became popular since the Spanish era in the barrios of Loma and Zapote of Binyan, Laguna. The dance became part of the celebrations during fiestas and religious gatherings. Thank you so much for your listening. If you are new to my video and to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updated videos that I'm going to upload. Thank you so much and God bless us all.